All right, girls, listen up. Today, we will be reviewing everyone's favorite health class topic, the female anatomy and the menstrual cycle. After a quick review, we're going to then learn about the birth control pill and how it works. Are there any questions? What is the pill and why do people take it? People go on the pill for many different reasons and at all different ages. The most common purpose of birth control is as a contraceptive to prevent pregnancy. Birth control pills come in packages of 28 and you have to take one each day. According to the Canadian Women's Health Network, birth control pills are 98% effective when taken properly, at exactly the same time every day. Most women make mistakes with the timing, which lowers the effectiveness to around 85%. People can also go on birth control pills for reasons other than contraception. It can make your periods lighter and more regular, reduce painful cramps, and reduce acne. In order for us to learn about the pill, let's review the female reproductive anatomy. These are the ovaries. Eggs are produced here and released once a month in a process called ovulation. The released eggs go down the fallopian tubes, which connect the ovaries to the uterus. If an egg is fertilized by sperm, the uterus is where the baby would develop. If the egg is not fertilized, it will be shed, along with some of the other lining of the uterus. Once a month, this is what causes your period. The blood discharges from the uterus through the small opening in the cervix and out of the vagina. Does the pill stop you from getting your period? Not necessarily. Let's now take a look at what the pill actually does to a girl's period. The primary function of the pill is to prevent unwanted pregnancy. It does this by implementing three main changes to the menstrual cycle. The first, and perhaps most important change, is that it prevents the release of an egg from the ovaries. The pill contains synthetic estrogen and progesterone, which are key hormones involved in the menstrual cycle. A hormone is a substance produced by the body that circulates in the blood and affects the functioning of its target cells or organs. Once the pill is ingested, these hormones go to a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. This is where hormone production begins. The hypothalamus will trigger the secretion of hormones, which ultimately leads to the release of two other hormones, follicle-stimulating hormones, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. These two hormones go through the bloodstream to the ovaries, where FSH begins the process of developing a mature egg, and LH is responsible for triggering ovulation of that egg. The estrogen and progestin from the pill blocks the release of FSH and LH, which means the egg does not develop and therefore is not released. With no egg available for fertilization, pregnancy can't occur. If an egg is still released, the pill has a few backup plans to prevent pregnancy. Due to the progestin that the pill contains, LH isn't able to thicken the uterine walls and therefore, even if an egg gets released, there is no environment for it to implant into. The third way in which pregnancy is prevented is without the spike of LH that usually happens during menstruation. The cervical mucus does not thin, the thick mucus prevents sperm from passing through the uterus, making it more difficult for sperm to reach an egg. Okay everyone, that's it for today. Remember, there are many different reasons to go on the pill, and each person must be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. If you're interested, ask your family doctor about it and they will help you decide if the pill is right for you.